Hey bosses, it's Nina. So I just completed a video on how to watermark using PicMonkey and I thought, I wonder if there are other apps that I'm just not looking at. So I'm gonna introduce you to a couple of different apps um, that allow you to watermark. Now this app, there is a, a pro version and a free version. This is my first look at it, so you'll get my honest opinion on this. But one thing that drew me to this app, it's called Watermarky, is that it says it's easy to use and you can add your watermark to one or dozens of photos at the same time. So let's see if they are telling the truth. I'm just gonna go to, and I'll leave the link below. Um, I'm gonna start watermarking for free and I'm gonna select photos to watermark. I'm gonna go to, on my desktop, I have a couple of dummy images, let me Okay, I'm going to snatch all of these photos. I'm just like drawing a rectangle around four of my photos and I'm going to click on open. Let's see. The free version of Watermarky is limited to images smaller than, okay, so these are huge photos. So let me get some small images. Notice that the size is up to three megabyte. Okay, so I uploaded some, these are selfies that I took a while ago. And so they're smaller in size. So it looks like at the bottom, you could add text, you can add a logo, or you can use a template. I'm gonna click on use a template because I've never used this app before. Um, this says family photos. Oh, okay, so it's just kind of like, it just starts you off. You can add addresses and things like that. That's actually pretty cool. I'm assuming, let me just click on it. I can probably create my own templates and things like that. Yeah, so you can save different templates. Um, and for with, with the pro version, it looks like there's a couple of different um, templates, basically. I'm going to add my logo. Let's see if it allows me to. Okay, I actually added a fake logo that I have from Princess. So one thing that I like, let me just see. And this is a logo, so don't knock it. It was just kind of a trial that I was doing. Um, it automatically starts as a little bit transparent. So if I go up to 100%, you can see the entire thing. If I go down, so it started at 59%. Let's go to like 30. Yep, and then you can make it larger so no one can copy your image. So yeah, this is actually pretty easy. Um, you can also add text. So if you wanna do, and especially if you don't have a logo, you can just change, I double clicked and I can just put at socially Nina, right? Same thing. Okay, cool. So of course this isn't how you would do it. You'd probably do something. Let me just delete this and then this. I turn, and I think Kevin asked me how to do this a while ago. So Kev, I hope you're watching this video. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next video. It's already done. Mm -mm, video, sorry, next photo. So yeah, this is super duper easy. You do it once and it's already done. Let's save it and see what it asked me to do. So I just click on save, save, save. Totally easy. Notice that at the bottom you can save all as a zip file. I absolutely hate zip files because then I have to unzip it, move it, delete it, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is how to watermark your photos, multiple photos using Watermark Key. If you want to know um, how to do this with PicMonkey, you can't do multiple photos at the same time, but if you want to know how to do this with PicMonkey, check out my other video that I did on PicMonkey. But I actually really, really like this. My only caveat is I have a lot of larger images, so I would probably have to upgrade to the Pro. Um, I'm probably going to reach out to this company to see if there's tips or tricks or other things, I actually really like this or see what other apps they have. If you have questions, leave them below. I'll make sure I include that in my email or reach out to the company. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Ciao.